right, guys, we're going to be talking about one of Joe Biden's virtue signaling hires that backfired on him. Now, I did a video on this person, I believe, uh, last week. Sam Brenton was in the Beijing Biden administration because this guy is non-binary. But apparently Joe Biden or whoever is actually doing the hiring did not do that due diligence on this person because this guy is a serial thief. Stealing stuff at airports, knowing that that is not his, lied about it. Well, this person, this uh, non-binary biological man person appeared in court today. Here we go. Fox News, former Biden official Sam Brenton's mugshot release after bail set at $15,000. Yeah, because uh, Sam Brenton um, is now fired. Fired. Sam Brenton ordered by court to stay out of trouble. Yeah. Yeah. I'm willing to bet, folks, if you let Sam Brenton out and just say that he gets off on this. Why do I have a feeling that he would actually go back and um, steal stuff from uh, airports? Stuff that he knows that's not his. I don't even think Biden has even addressed this. Probably because the mainstream media probably won't even ask him about this thing. But let's read this. The former Biden administration nuclear official facing significant prison time for allegedly stealing luggage in two airports was arrested in Las Vegas on Wednesday. Samuel Brenton, who was appointed to serve as the deputy assistant secretary for spent fuel and waste disposition at the Department of Department of Energy in June, appeared at a court hearing in Clark County, Nevada, where prosecutors and Britain's legal team agreed on bail in the case being set at $15,000. Also on Wednesday, Brenton was booked by the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department on an outstanding arrest warrant and released on bond according to court records. Brenton was ordered during the court hearing to, quote, stay out of trouble as a bail condition, court records show. Really? Stay out of trouble. You know that. that, Wow. Stay out of trouble. A serial thief. I'm pretty sure that Sam Brenton is going to take those words for what it is, I guess. The uh, LVMPD released a booking photo at the Brenton was processed at the Clark County Detention Center on Wednesday. This is his photo right here. Looks like a very, very mean man versus, you know. Wearing all the makeup and doing the whole non-binary thing. Clearly, this is a man right here. And uh, if he end up ends up going to prison, guess where he's going? He's going to go to a male prison. Why? Because this is a biological male. It is just that simple. Last week, Brenton was charged with grand, grand larceny in connection with the theft of a bag worth $3,670 at Harry Reid International Airport. In Las Vegas in July, police alleged in the arrest warrant that also issued last week that Brenton intentionally stole a suitcase containing seventeen hundred dollars worth of jewelry, clothing worth eight hundred and fifty dollars and makeup valued at five hundred dollars from the airport's baggage carousel after traveling from Washington, D.C. to Las Vegas. Was he on official government business? I find this interesting, guys. He stole makeup. This is a man that likes to wear makeup to look like a woman. Let that sink in. Because of the high monetary value of the bag, Brenton is facing up to 10 years in prison and a $10,000 fine. Las Vegas detectives originally closed the case after they were unable to identify the suspect. However, they reopened it following news reports in November that Brenton had been charged in a similar case in Minnesota. I wanted to bet he's probably done this probably at like five different places. But I digress. On October 26th, Minnesota prosecutors charged Brenton with stealing a suitcase worth $2,325. From a Minneapolis-St. Paul International Airport baggage carousel 
in September. Brenton faces up to five years in prison for that crime and is set to appear in Minneapolis court on Monday. You cannot make this up, guys. You cannot make this up. Maybe the uh, the makeup that you're actually seeing in this photo of him right there. Maybe that actually came from. Uh, from stolen uh, makeup. And oh, my goodness, folks, check this out. This is actually Sam Brenton's official government portrait. Yeah. So I guess he goes to work like this, or at least he went to work because now he's fired. Wearing lipstick. Like a woman. And I guess that was OK. The DOE. Meanwhile, announced Monday that Brenton had departed the agency, but wouldn't co- comment on the reason for the departure. A spokesperson for the DOE said the agency wasn't allowed to comment on personnel matters. Yeah, he got fired. Let's be clear. He got fired. There's no other way to put it, guys. So he is facing 10 years in prison. A male prison. And I'm wondering, guys, if he actually does go to prison, I'm wondering if they were to give him a choice. Which one would he actually choose? Would he choose a male prison or a female prison? I'm curious about that. He's also into some weird, weird stuff and like animal role play. Let that sink in. Yeah, these are the kind of people, man, that uh, Joe Biden wants around in his administration. Disgusting. This man's a criminal. Hopefully he does do jail time. That's some expensive bads, too, man. Expensive stuff. He knows how to pick them, guys. He definitely does. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time.